hi good morning everyone let's get started with the next training topic which is on user master record in security so basically what is a user master record so whenever we connect to an sap system there is a profile there is a buffer which is created and that buffer should have the information about what are the objects and the t code that i should have access to so that is called the user master record for that particular user and for accessing any transaction the the user's buffer should have that particular t code so let's go to a particular user and let's see his user master record say this particular user it has its name over here you can have the work center related information the costing related information you can have communication related information so that is the information about the address part that is this these are the address related field which can be captured for the user okay so that is about the user's information that is the master record will have the user name user's last name first name language communication related information like phone number extension etc now let's come to the logon data where we specify the user type okay so basically we are into the logon data where we can specify the user type here you have the password information then you can assign the user group to the user validity period and other data so basically this is what you can do for a particular user's logon data let's go to the next tab which is about the profiles okay profiles okay now we get into the roles tab so in roles tab you can assign the roles to the user so whenever the user is logging into the system and the user buffer will be containing that he has access to these roles and these profiles so that is very important because whenever the user logs in he has the buffer the user buffer so that user buffer should contain the information about what t codes and profiles and objects the activities that the user should have access to so that is what pretty much is configured in this particular screen so that is why the user master record is very important because it contains the, all the information right from the logging information the address the details the communication details the type of user the groups to which it belongs the validity period the roles and the profiles which users are assigned to the groups users are member of and the personalization information and lastly the license data okay so that is pretty much is that's what the user master record contains so we should make sure that we have this information complete and populated okay now let's see the next slide let's get to the theoretical aspect of it here you can see the address basically the personal data communication data company address next is the logon data that we saw is user group user type validity period next thing is the default that is the menu the logon language the printer then parameter that is default values for parameter ids roles assignment of profiles profiles is assignment of user group groups global user manager and personalization is assignment of personalization so a user can only log on to an sap system if a user master record with corresponding password exists the scope of activity of individual users in the sap system is defined in a user master record by one or more roles and is restricted by the assignment of the appropriate authorization user master records are client specific you must maintain your own user master record for each and every client in the sap system the following authorization objects are required to create and maintain user master record the first thing is s underscore user underscore grp basically this is for the authorization to create or maintain a user master record and to assign it to a user group next thing is s underscore user underscore pro basically this is for the 
this is the authorization for the authorization profiles that you assign to users s underscore user underscore auth basically this is for the authorization to create and maintain authorization then we have s underscore user underscore agr basically this is to protect roles with this authorization object you specify which roles can be edited and which activities like display change create etc are intended for the role okay so by choosing system basically using su03 transaction su3 transactions you the user can maintain their own master data basically they can maintain their own address related information each profile grants the user a number of authorizations remember that we recommend that you structure the contents of authorization based on the organization structure so and you can change basically you can do mass changes to this using su20 su10 as well here you can see that you can do the changes for logon data roles profiles parameters defaults etc using su10 then next thing is the change user documents table basically for the online you have the change history for logon data which is at uch ush02 change history for authorization which is ush04 change history for authorization profiles ush10 and change history for authorization values okay now archiving documents so basically you can these documents can be archived as well okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day